you caught my video last year, I was actually at a hide down here and I had one fantastic experience of a stag walking right past my hide and I had that kind of yellowy orangey birch forest down there that you see as my background. One of my favorite images of last year. And I'm back here now, so I have the next two mornings, I'm gonna be out in the hide. And I've just kind of honed in on, there it is, there's a herd of deer down there, and I could just about hear one of them calling as well. So I'm heading down this way now, I'm just kind of staking out from a distance, um, looking through binoculars, trying to find places in the habitat down there that, you know, my hide can be a little bit hidden um, in the landscape. Okay, hide is up behind me. There's still some deer over there in the distance. <laughs> They're calling like crazy right now. Uh, I think I have a pretty good location. It's very similar to last year, but I was pretty happy with that. So, come back here tomorrow morning and hope we get some deer. So, a bit disappointing. Just ran into the gamekeeper here and he said that the main, the main kind of stags and um, the whole rut kind of finished last week. I didn't have a chance to come in earlier this year. Um, yeah, so that is a bit disappointing. I mean, I saw a couple of deer when I walked down with the hide, so I can always hope. Well, it is what it is. I'll make the best of the next two days and see what happens. So it's about two hours before sunrise and I got about seven or eight kilometers to walk. At the moment I'm filming a red deer that's a little bit far away, so I'm using the 300 plus the 1.4 extender. I'm down here. Got my EM1 more 2 with the 4150 on. I was using the extender on that so I could do a bit of filming with that for various focal lengths, but nothing really came close, so I decided to put it on this instead. And get the extra reach um, just to just to do a little bit of filming and 
take a take a photo of this one deer that I have. It's unfortunately not that much. Um, you can hear calls. The main herd with a stag. Um, the alpha male is down in front of me, but quite far down. And it's um, there's a fence just behind him. There's deer in the enclosure. The deer up here are wild. They can roam about the hills, but the deer down there behind the fence are enclosed. It's, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I'm afraid it does not look like it's happening this time. I messed up on the timing. I came here a bit late in the season, but I couldn't do anything about it. I had I had some bird survey work out in the Outer Hebrides. So this was the only time I could make it. I've had some stags, I've had some activity down here. The deers have been calling this morning, but nothing close to the hide. Closest I've had is a couple hundred meters that way. Okay, one last attempt. I'm gonna try and stalk them. I'm gonna put on my, I mean, I'm already wearing kind of camouflage clothing, cap. I'm just gonna travel lightly. I'm gonna wrap this scrim around my neck. I'm just gonna take my binoculars and my EM1X with a 300 and I'll bring that 1.4 converter as well. I'm just gonna try and stalk them, because if not, I'll end up with no images. There's a couple of stags that are lying down. One of them is lying down, one of them is still feeding over this little ridge. So I'm gonna try and stalk closer, try and get some photos of them. for hours. The stag is just sitting right down there. It looks in my direction when I peek up. I'm very slow, very careful. I don't think it knows that I'm here, but it's, it senses something. But it's not, um, it's not probably caught wind of me yet, because otherwise it would stand up. I really have a good look and maybe run 